All right, stop. I'm all in. Joseph Hashem is going to try to put Danneman all in. Hashem with the straight. I'm all in. And Danneman bites. Joseph Hashem has a straight and a title in the waiting. Oh, the bracelet all but around his wrist now. I got a chance. Now, not much of one. He can only tie this pot. Seven and seven only. Hashem trying to become the first foreign-born winner of the main event since Carlos Mortensen in 2001. Hashem flopped the straight and then played Dannenman perfectly here to the river. The suspense is paralyzing some of these Aussies. Wait, wait. There's one more cut. Good luck. Dannemann needs a seven, or Joseph Hashem will be our world champion. And now our river card. It's a four, and there you have it. Joseph Hashem stands alone. Good job, buddy. The man from down under has reached the pinnacle of poker and will forever be known as a 2005 world champion. Thank you, everybody. Another player all in is Joseph Hashem with pocket threes. He flopped the set. He pushed all in against Champy Douglas, who called him. Hashem has the big lead, but his tournament life is on the line. Another big pot at our table. Turn card coming out. Yes. Hashem avoids no, trouble there. If Hashem can avoid an ace or an eight on the river, he'll win the hand and still have a shot to make the money. And it's a jack on the river, so Joseph Hashem put his tournament life on the line and lives to tell about it. Joseph Hashem, wait a minute. Is this an instant replay? Pocket aces again? Back-to-back -back hands? What, does he phone ahead for these cards? Raise. Gotta raise it, 110,000. Pocket queens for Carlo Lopez. I raise. Raise. He's gonna raise it up. Asham loves to hear that. Over a million chips. Lopez is gonna put in the pot. He can't stand the pressure. It's poker. I have to call. You call? I have to call. Asham, of course, makes the call with aces. Oh, Lopez is distraught. <sighs> And you hear from Hashem's Aussie base gallery there. Lopez all in to the flop. Deuce, six, four, all spades, but Hashem has the ace of spades. Spades is all right, spades is all right. Put a spade down. We want a spade down. Well, Lopez does not want a spade. As you mentioned, Hashem's got him covered with the higher spade. It's a seven of hearts. Lopez, one card closer to elimination. Hashem doesn't want to look. Lopez will be looking for a queen on the river, or he will be wamboozled. It's a three! Hashem wins the hand. Lopez is gone. Wow, what a start at this feature table for Joseph Hashem. <laughs> I love poker, man. So I've been playing for 10 years. I was a chiropractor for 13 years. I had to give up chiropractic four years ago. My hands started playing up and I couldn't continue. And I decided that I'd take poker very seriously then. It's my first chance at playing at the World Series. Come on, baby. Woo! I've got a family. And the kids have been, well, up until this year, too young for me to leave. My wife this year decided to say to me, honey, your friends are going, go for two weeks, it's your time. Hello. Come on, Hash. I'll hold the fort whilst you're gone. The kids are okay now, and who knows when you'll be able to go again. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! So being uh, the male that I am, as soon as she said that, two days later I booked my ticket so she can't renege. <laughs> Cater. Over to Joseph Hashem, ace king of diamonds. And a raise to 160,000. Andrew Black folds. Over to Steve Dannenman, recently joined this feature table. Pocket nines. Still wearing the same shirt since day one. Nice card protector, though. I oh. like that one. And he makes the call. You know, and even though that globe is small on, it has every nation in the world on it. <laughs> even Kazakhstan? Yeah, even that place. <laughs> So Hashem and Dannemann to the flop. Dannemann with a slight lead with a pair of nines. Whoa, and now a set of nines for Dannemann. Hashem has picked up the nut flush draw, however. First to act will be Joe Hashem. He checks. 
Steve Dannenman. Reaching for chips, throws out 150,000. Dannenman loves to talk about how this whole tournament feels like a free roll to him. He's just having a great time. Hashem now with a million chips back to Dannenman. Well, that, that'll put a stop to a great time in a hurry. Wow, amateur Dannenman probably does not see that kind of bet at his home games. All in. And Dannenman pushes back, all in. It's 3.75 million chips to Hashem, making the pot right now almost 5 million chips. Mm -mm. Hashem's bet was a semi-bluff. He was hoping to push Dannenman out. Now he's got to decide whether Dannenman has a big hand. You're staring me down. You got nothing. Excuse me? You're staring me down as if you got nothing. Huh? Everything else is extra credit from here for me, buddy. Sorry? Everything now is extra credit for me. I got past the first day. Oh, man, huh? I'm just having fun. So am I. Yeah, but Danneman's having fun with a better hand here, and he knows it. You know, Steve Danneman may look and act goofy, but he is one coy boy. We've seen that from day one. <laughs> You had to sit on me, did you? Excuse me? Did you hear to sit there? <sighs> Not sure? Check your cards again. Check them again. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> How can you not love this guy? <laughs> To call this and lose the hand mm. would mean Hashem would be left with only a few hundred thousand chips. Take your time. Think about it. Thank you. Appreciate your Let me patience. put the glasses on. Will that help? Now, these guys would make good roommates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take them off. Get a better read that way. Who can read this guy anyway? Hey, don't, Phil. I was doing all right when the day started. Now he's making small talk with Phil Ivey. Dannemann's doing like everything you're not supposed to do in a hand. What is your name? Joseph, Joe. Joe. See, an international bond is being formed. This will be an ABC sitcom by next year. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, I'll Joe. I'll leave it to another time. Ask him Joe, I have not been behind on a hand. I've not given a bad beat to anyone. What do nice you think hand. I have, Joe? Nice hand. Whatever you have, nice hand. Would you like to see it? That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice hand. We're still friends, right? Always friends, man. Joseph Hashem looks at ace six of clubs. Says raise. Hashem with a 10th place finish in a no limit hold'em tournament earlier in this year's World Series. Hashem throws out 120,000 chips over to Andrew Black with Queens. Been his favorite card today. Knocked Tim Fan out with a couple of queens on the turn in river. He is the chip leader at this table with about five and a half million. 400 more. And he's going to raise it 400,000 more. Scott Lazar has joined our featured table. He will fold. Steve Dannenman now. Hope he washes that shirt between sessions. He folds as well. Now over to Phil Ivey. I would love to see this guy play, but 9-7 folds again. Well, he might be frustrated not getting more involved. Then again, it might be his intent. He might be just sitting around and letting the inexperienced players just do crazy things to each other. It's a 400,000 chip raise to Hashem, and he makes the call. So Black and Hashem to the flop. Black's pocket queens with a two to one advantage. Now the flop is queen seven, nine, three queens for Black, but Hashem flops the nut flush. Oh, bumper cars are gonna go bump right now. Hashem first to act now. He checks. All in. Uh-oh. Cool. Here we go. Pass the sugar. Oh, don't pass the sugar yet. Joseph Hashem had not seen Black's hand yet. Hashem all in with the nut flush, but he's not out of danger. Biggest pot yet, six and a half million. No pair. Hashem doesn't want to see the board to pair at all. No pair. Black seems a little stunned behind those sunglasses, but he can take a big chip lead in this tournament if that board pairs. Either way. Black right now, a three to one dog going to the turn. Turn card is a 10, no help to Black. Andrew Black looking to pair the board. If the board pairs, no pair. 
Andrew Black will have a big chip lead, and Joe Hashem will be eliminated. I can't look. I can't look. I can't look, man. Hashem on the sidelines. It's a king. Hashem wins the hand with a flush. Wow, what a huge pot that was for Joseph Hashem from Australia. Cantor and Danneman go away. I raise. Scott Lazar, king nine of spades, is going to raise it. The blinds are at 80 and 160,000. Make it 500. Lazar goes for a half million. After laying down his ace last time, he's eager for some action. I'm all in. I'll call you. Hashem, the short stack goes all in, and Lazar calls. Am I, am I in front, Scotty? Oh, I'm in front. You are. I don't want to make a flush, that's for sure. Good luck, man. Well, boy, I'm not only surprised that Lazar called here, I'm surprised at how quickly he called. There was no need for this. I think he had a little no, brain bubble. Flop three spades and don't worry about it. Hashem is holding the ace queen of spades. He'd love to see a flush. And it's Joseph Hashem whose tournament life is at stake here. Gamble, gamble. Still got chips to play with. Scott's pretty much conceding this hand and can live with the fact that he'll still have 2.9 million chips to play with. He started the hand with about five and a half million, and now the flop is 10 for ace. Hashem hits his ace. Wow, the ace is still haunting Lazar. Nice hand, nice hand. Hashem's all but good now. Lazar would need running straight cards. Hey, I've done it before, right? But they can't be spades, or running kings, or running nines. Put a spade, dealer. <laughs> now the turn card, five of clubs, and that's gonna do it. Hashem wins the hand and doubles up. Ron, I still think U.S. Customs officials were asleep <laughs> at the switch at the point of entry. Sugar. The Aussies love to see their man still in there after risking all his chips. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! It's become a champ in any sporting event where Australians are playing. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! We love our sport. G'day. Wherever we are, at any sporting event, absolutely passionate. All of Australia is going crazy. Everybody just banded together, and they've just been with me the whole way. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! All I've done is play each day as it comes, and then if I win this, there won't be anybody that won't know about the World Series of Poker in Australia, and I'll throw the biggest party Melbourne has ever seen. We continue three-handed. One of these men will be our world champion. Steve Daneman looks at pocket sevens. Three-handed, a... a Pocket pair is pretty good. 750. Raises it up, 750,000 on Joseph Hashem. Pocket jacks are better, three handed. Very strong. Come on, Cole. Hashem makes the call with his jacks. Hashem might have raised there, but he's going to just slow play the jacks. Arch with an ace and a six. I'm all in. And Barch is going to push with his A6. Oh, and the curious thing, Alon, if Hashem had raised, Barch might have folded. Instead, Tex goes all in. 600. That puts the heat on Dan Inman now. He wants to see how much of his stack he has to call. Call. And he does make the call. And Joseph Hashem calls as well. Oh, Lord, and with two callers, Tex knows he's on the short end of this. Trampling him up! You win this, we're even again. Indeed, that would be the case, but Barch has a lot of work to do. Tex all in, going to be looking for an ace. Good luck, man. Good luck, gentlemen. Danovan and Hashem can bet in a side pot if they wish. So now, ready for the flop, Tex Barch maybe looking at his last flop of this main event. Flop is deuce 10-3, Barch gets nothing, Hashem's jacks still lead. And neither Hashem or Daneman improve, and when two players are in against an all-in guy, they'll often check it out unless somebody improves their hand. Turn card is a queen, Barch running out of chances. Once again, they both check. 
And for Tex Bartsch, down to perhaps his last card, he needs an ace and an ace only to stay alive in the main event. River card is a nine, and officially Tex Bartsch is eliminated. Hashem and Daneman have to finish their business. They check it out. And yeah. Joseph Hashem wins that huge pot. Steve Daneman with ace three. Raise. Offsuit announces a raise. The blinds are at 150 and 300,000. Daneman raises it to 700,000. Hashem was 7-3 offsuit. You play this shorthanded even? Not usually. Well, <laughs> he can beat the seven deuce. Daneman with a three to one advantage as we go to the flop. A flop is four, five, six. Hashem flopped a straight. Well, now he can beat a lot of hands. Oh my goodness. And he will check his monster hand. Daneman with a straight draw. That's 700,000. Plus, plus one million. And a raise of one million more. I thought Hashem might wait, but he will pounce now. Daneman's got a real playable hand. Up and down straight draw plus the ace high. Daneman makes the call. Now we go to the turn. Hashem with a big advantage. It's an ace. That's a disaster card for Daneman. The best he can hope for is a chop pot. Two million. Hashem is in a great position. He'll bet two million. He cannot lose this hand. Unfortunately for Daneman, he's got a pair of aces and an up and down straight draw. He's really got to like his hand. <laughs> this guy's always laughing at critical moments. And these are treacherous waters for Steve Daneman. You can see the percentages. You having fun? My God, it's, it's a ball. <laughs> $2 million. That's a pretty large bet for a young man of your, of your playing ability, huh? I'm telling you, Alon, these guys should move in together, and ABC has its odd couple remake. <laughs> I raise. Three million more. Daneman now announces a raise. And Hashem next to Wacht, trying to figure out how to get the most chips he can out of his opponent. He does want to double check to make sure he has that straight. But we're being friendly. All right, stop. I'm all in. Joseph Hashem is going to try to put Daneman all in. Hashem with the straight. I'm all in. And Daneman bites. Joseph Hashem has a straight and a title in the waiting. Oh, the bracelet all but around his wrist now. I got a chance. Now, not much of one. He can only tie this pot. Seven and seven only. Hashem trying to become the first foreign-born winner of the main event since Carlos Mortensen in 2001. Hashem flopped the straight and then played Dannenman perfectly here to the river. The suspense is paralyzing some of these Aussies. Come on, Hash! Wait, wait, there's one more cut. Good luck. Dannenman needs a seven or Joseph Hashem will be our world champion. And now our river card. It's a four, and there you have it. Joseph Hashem stands alone. Good job, buddy. The man from down under has reached the pinnacle of poker and will forever be known as a 2005 world champion. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Daneman lived every amateur player's dream in this main event. Thank you, America. Hashem turned 7-3 off suit into 7.5 million. Pass the sugar. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy!